Hello and welcome to the second video in our DB Wrapper uh, series here. And in this video, we're going to go ahead and create our class and set up all of our properties. And we're going to talk about a singleton. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this db.php and we'll open our PHP tags. Okay. The thing is, we don't want to close our PHP tags on a class um, that can get us in some trouble. So just leave it open. <clears throat> and what we're going to do here is uh, to make a class, you're just going to say class db, okay, and then it is open and closing curly braces. <clears throat> so once we have that, we can go ahead and the first thing that I want to talk about is we're going to set up all of our properties that we're going to use. And like I said, this is going to be a singleton object, meaning we're going to um, when someone instantiates this object, it's going to check if an object already exists. If it exists, it's going to return that object. If it doesn't exist, it's going to create the object from the class and return that. So you'll never have more than one instance of this object. Now this is not something that you want to do for a lot of um, classes because, uh, well, that would kind of defeat the purpose of most objects. Um, however, for a DB object, it makes sense to have only one object um, because we have one connection and um, we can get in trouble with having multiple connections. And it is possible to do it without doing it in a singleton pattern, but um, I'm just, I've just chosen to make this a uh, singleton pattern for this. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to declare a private. Uh, and then what we're going to do to make to do a private um, variable or a property here is the convention is to start it with an uh, underscore and we're just going to call this instance and we're going to set it equal to null by default. Now the, the other thing with this is we want this to be a static property meaning um, it is static across all objects um, from this class it doesn't change and so we're going to go ahead, and that's what's going to help us uh, create the singleton pattern. So let's go ahead and make this a static, uh, static property. So we only need a few more uh, properties for this database class. The first one, they're all going to be private. But the first one, that, um, well, technically, I guess this is the second one. Sorry, guys, I am really rusty at this. It's been a very long time since I shot any videos. Like I said, I've been very busy, and I just decided on a whim here. At a few hours, I'm going to try to knock out, a, you know, 14 videos or so. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and so I'm just going to go ahead and create all of these properties. Now, I'm saying properties because that's the correct term for this. Um, however, a property, if you're not really familiar with object-oriented programming, especially with PHP, um, the thing is, is a property is pretty much a variable. Um, but it lives within an object. And all of these, uh, every object that we create um, from a class will have all of these properties. Um, so these will not be static. But in a way, I mean, we are, this instance variable is going to store the entire object. So we're going to instantiate the entire object and set instance equal to that object. Uh, and then we're going to return that. So we have our, uh, these are all the properties that we're going to need to build our class with. So we will have access to instance, PDO, which will be our connection, um, query, error, uh, results, count, and last insert ID. Um, so that's it. Uh, I will see you in the next video and we're going to actually do our database connection and go ahead and get started on this singleton pattern. So I'll see you there.